there is no doubt that online storage is a fantastic convenience. It allows you to have all of your documents at your fingertips as long as you have a device with an internet connection. There is also no doubt that people you didn't intend to can get access to all of your documents if they're not encrypted. In this video, I will show you a free app that you can use to encrypt all your files that are in a folder. And that will allow you to share that folder online and get access to all of your data from anywhere as long as you have a device with an internet connection. My name is Sam and this channel is all about tech from reviews to tutorials, so consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. So many of the online document storage companies, uh, they either store your data unencrypted on their servers, or if they do store them encrypted, they're the ones that hold the key. So they can basically see your data anytime they feel like it. Yes, they do have policies and restrictions and all that sort of stuff, but if you watch the news, when has that ever prevented somebody from taking the keys and looking at your data? Let's take Evernote as one example. Uh, they basically store all your documents unencrypted. Yes, you can probably highlight a portion of a note and add a password to that, but that's pretty much the extent of it. Do you really feel good about storing your bank documents or your tax documents on Evernote? I don't. Dropbox is another one. They do store everything encrypted on their servers, but they're the ones that hold the decryption key. Nothing prevents a rogue employee from going in and looking at your data if they choose to. So I'm pretty sure you would like to have some control of who can see your data and who can decrypt it. The solution that I found is a fantastic free application called Cryptometer. It works by encrypting a folder of your choosing anywhere on your computer. And after you encrypt that folder, you can actually share it online anywhere you want and only you have the ability to decrypt it since you are the one that holds the decryption key, meaning the password. For example, if you use Dropbox, you can just select a folder within Dropbox and use that as your vault and everything within that folder will be encrypted before it actually goes back up to their servers. Now, all the files in that folder are only visible to you since you are the one that holds the decryption key. Now, Cryptometer also has a mobile app. The read mode is free. So, for example, if you scanned a bunch of documents, let's say bank statements, and you want to read them while you're out and about, you can actually grab your phone and decrypt the folder and read that PDF file on your phone. They do have a paid version, which is $12 a year, and that allows you to create documents and add documents into that folder if you choose to. But all you want to do is just read documents. That's perfectly free. So the best way to show you how this works is by doing a demo. So let's show you how this works. Okay, so I'll be running this demo on a Mac virtual machine just so I can have a clean environment to show you what's going on. Uh, this is the main site of Cryptometer. And if you go into the download section, see they pretty much support every platform from Windows, Linux, Android, and iOS. So I already went ahead and already downloaded the Apple version. And as you can tell, they have both for Intel and the new Apple Silicon. So I will minimize this and let's go back and install Cryptometer. Just a regular boilerplate here. Drag it to applications. That's all you need to do and it's done. So let's go ahead and launch it. Launch it. Yes, we want to open it. And you can allow this as you wish. So this is the main interface of Cryptometer. So you can decide to change some of these preferences. There's really not that crazy. You can actually launch Cryptometer on system start and you can go through these on your own if you wish to. I'm just going to show you the important things. So here's where you create a new vault. Go to add vault, create new vault. You can give it a name, go test vault. And if you have some of the applications installed like Dropbox or the OneDrive app or any of the apps that make everything look like a folder like it does here on my Finder, you will see them listed here. Uh, all it does is it's not necessary for it to exist. All it does is basically when you choose it, it just basically uh, populates the folder location of where it is on your Finder. So I'll select Dropbox and you can select any password you want here. I'm just going to do something basic here like test one, two, three, four, test one, two, three, four. Of course, it's very insecure. And another thing that you're allowed to do here, and I will show this to you, you can actually create a recovery key. This recovery key, if you copy this and you print it out or you save this somewhere on your external drive or a USB key and put it in your safe or somewhere, in case you lose your password, you could use this to actually unencrypt your drive. So let's assume I did this or printed it out and I have it. And I will unlock it right now since I just created it and it'll ask my password for unlock and reveal drive. Of course, I want to allow it. And here's my drive. I see, as you can see here, it's already got a welcome document. Uh, and I just realized I don't have any documents here. Let me go grab a couple of documents. We'll be right back. All right, I just went and just 
save the little PDF file here that I just printed off a screen, nothing big deal, just as an example. And I'm just going to grab this and drag it into my test vault. And this is my super secret document now. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go to reveal drive and I'm gonna go lock it because now I'm done and I wanna close this drive down. So now that it's closed, and as you can see, Dropbox has the green checkbox that it already synced it up to the cloud. As you can see, there is nothing in here that even looks remotely like that PDF file that I just put in here. All blank. So the only thing that's in here that is readable is a document that Cryptomator creates. It's just more of an instructional warning and telling you what to do. And that's all there is to the desktop app. You can actually create multiple vaults here. You can actually have vaults that you want to just save on your local drive because you don't want somebody that's using your computer to see things. Or you can use a different service. Uh, it is very robust and it's very, very cool and very quick and just unobtrusive and out of your way. But the neat thing is that now that I put this on Dropbox and it's on the cloud, I can actually go and use the mobile app to actually view my document. And let me show you how to do that with the phone. So, okay, now I got my phone here and I've opened up Cryptomator and this is what you see. Uh, when you first install it, you may see this screen. Of course, they want you to purchase it and that helps them out since they are developing this for free actually for the desktop version. And as you can tell, it is $12 for a lifetime license and you can have it forever, but we can just use it as is. So since this is the first time, I need to add a vault. I can go add. I can open an existing vault since we created one already. I will select Dropbox. And you have to, since the first time I'm doing it, it will ask me to add my Dropbox account and I do want to allow it. And there you go. There's my test vault showing up. Select it, add this vault. So let me add my super duper secret password here. T-E-S-T, -E one, two, three, four. There we go. <clears throat> so as you can see, now that I added my vault, it shows up as part of my vault list in the Cryptomator app. And I can just select it so I can, because I want to view the files and I can choose to have Face ID unlock it, which uh, I can do here or I can do when I open it, it's gonna tell me I want to unlock it, unlock required. T E S D one, two, three, four. And I can enable face ID. So why not unlock it? And there you go. And as you can see, I can view the document here and it's unencrypted on my device where only I can view. And that's the, the neat thing about it. I can only view documents here. I don't have the capability to, to add files unless I pay for it, which I haven't done yet. So that is what's neat about Cryptomator. So as you can tell, Cryptomator is a fantastic frictionless application. It is unobtrusive. It quickly allows you to encrypt the drive and have your files anywhere you go with a mobile device. And especially if you pay for it, you can actually create documents on the fly. It's great if you wanna go and have your bank statements or something else with you. You don't wanna carry all that paper with you and you wanna have it all the time. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. It'd be very much appreciated. So Cryptometer is a fantastic app and I use it all the time when I want to just take a folder with me and I want to encrypt its contents to be safe. For long-term storage though, I use Veracrypt. When it comes to encrypting data, Veracrypt is second to none. It takes encryption to a paranoid level. If you want to see how I use Veracrypt to store my documents, check out this video here. Thanks for watching.